A local man is taking his love of the outdoors to new heights with help of his dog, of course. But as I found out, his Belgian Malinois, Georgia, isn't just helping him. She's planning to help anyone who might need it. Take a look. Georgia. Track, show me. Let's go. Is a search and rescue dog in training. While she may be practicing on her handler son for now. Yes. Good girl. The hope is that she'll be able to find anyone who may get lost or hurt in the great outdoors. Speak. The goal is that when someone who is uh, who is going to be very difficult to locate goes missing, that whatever the involved search authority is would be able to call us and have us come out. Georgia is always working to improve. Yes. <laughs> And that includes making sure she can accommodate anyone who may need her assistance. Yeah, so we've trained her from about nine weeks old to just kind of be really tolerant of, you know, any kind of behavior from anyone um, because we don't know if she could be out, you know, searching for someone who has a behavioral disorder, if she could be out searching for someone who has autism, or even if someone's just reactive to dogs. As a former member of Idaho Mountain Search and Rescue, a certified wilderness first responder, and an ultra marathon runner, George's handler, Israel, understands the dangers of the outdoors. That's why he spends about six hours a day getting her ready to help. So there is a lot that goes into training a search and rescue tracking dog. I've only known Georgia for a couple of minutes, but we're gonna try a cool exercise. I'm gonna take my CBS2 hat and drop it along this path. Then we're going to go hide and we're going to see if Georgia can find us. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make this hard for Georgia and for me. <laughs> oh, there's spiders. Okay. Georgia, what's that? What's that? Is that our scent? How's this? I feel like this is a pretty hard one. <laughs> Do you think he's going to find me? I think so. <laughs> Georgia, show me. Oh, wow. Good girl. Yes. While she may be pretty cute, Israel stresses that Belgian Malinois are not family pets. This is what you get if you hold them still for five minutes. They are very much made to work 24 7. Reporting in the foothills, Sophie Dumani, CBS 2 News. <laughs> Well, she was definitely hard to hold on to. Israel says he's going to take the next six months to practice winter tracking with Georgia. After that, he'll work on the proper certifications and then look for a unit that she could join. To see some more photos of Georgia's adventures, head to IdahoNews.com.